Pursue the Hunt is brought to you by Backcountry, helping you enjoy the great outdoors. Hello everybody and welcome back to Pursue the Hunt. I'm your host Mike Friesen and we are very excited to kick off Season 3 right here on Sportsman Channel Canada. Now we've got a great lineup of episodes coming at you this season from BC to Saskatchewan where you'll meet our new host and good friend Muck Simons. Now the first couple of episodes we have for you this season is a bit of a mini series that I've put together to showcase a bit of my journey from off season of last year. Now some of you may know I had an unfortunate incident that required me to get knee surgery and I went through the Acme Clinic in Edmonton and the team was just so great putting everything together to get me ready to start the production season for you guys. So we hope you enjoy this mini series and my journey along this season. I see you. On our way to Edmonton, doing a uh, little father-son trip. Going to an Oilers game and then surgery console. So yeah, possible tour in meniscus. Seen the surgeon at the Acumen Clinic, and he didn't like what he saw in my initial MRI results. So, gonna see him in person, do some tests, see what's going on. If I don't need surgery, straight to rehab. If I do need surgery, then January, and then that way I can get on with it before the season gets going. But yeah, hope for the best, expect the worst, see how it goes. So, just on the way to Edmonton snowing outside and let the journey begin Okay, on our way to Calgary. It is, what's today? January 6th? I think it's January 6th. Surgery tomorrow morning, little meniscus repair, and then the road to recovery begins. And looking at full recovery mid-April, that's the goal, so that we can kick off season three. But uh, yeah, pretty excited going through the Acumen Clinic in Edmonton and they basically take you right from surgery all the way through your rehab. So, looking forward to my knee feeling better and then doing the rehab. It'll be, I think, a positive experience. And yeah, so we'll keep you guys updated. What's up, guys? Just got the IV. And waiting. Got about an hour to wait for surgery. But looking forward to getting this thing better, getting back out in the field. So, here we go. All right, everybody, we're at the Acumen Clinic here in Edmonton, and this is Leanne, the athletic therapist here, and we're just going to get started on the rehab. So, what's the plan? Okay, so today's appointment, we just kind of look at the incision, make sure there's no sign of infection, and then we will do some light tissue work to help kind of the swelling, and then we'll go over your exercises to help the range of motion, and then I'm gonna get to you to walk on your crutches and start applying a little pressure, because you did as you walked it. Yeah. Right there, that's it. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> so, crunches. Flat foot. Transfer through. Yeah. I try to be pretty transparent in that the first four to six weeks are the hardest because for very active populations, they're not moving as much and they just have to really be focused on the long-term goal and not the short-term goal and not to get stuck in the moment and just keep pushing through, you'll get by it. 
but it's really hard mentally to accept that um, where they are in that moment because it feels so far away from the big goal. Essentially the hyperbaric is an enhanced healing environment that uses pressure and oxygen. It's very non-invasive, but it basically feels like someone's squishing on each side of my knee evenly and um, it helps suppress the swelling a bit. And then I put on this oxygen mask here where I have plus minus 95% oxygen coming through here from an oxygen concentrator outside the chamber. Ears, you have to equalize your ears. Are you gonna help daddy out? Yeah. Okay. He's going. No, 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 I'm coming out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna help me out? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, big and strong. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Oh, don't touch daddy's knee. Remember, he's got an owie. Uh, owie. Yeah, and we'll do some exercises later. You want to do, you wanna do the exercises with me later? Yeah. Okay, let's do it later then. Pursue the Hunt is brought to you by Peacevale Meat Shop for all your domestic and wild game processing needs in the Peace region. Pineview Management, serving the peace since 1997. Zoo Food, Fort St. John's number one pet supply warehouse. And 222 Metalworks, handcrafted custom metal displays. Uh, the main milestone to begin with is going to be getting full range of motion for Mike for his ability to kneel, to be able to stand, obviously, and then be able to walk over long distances. The next milestone is going to be getting him strong enough to be able to withstand the rigors of hunting and then. After that is gonna be the last part is the endurance. And as you know, Mike puts on a lot of miles. That was one of the main focuses that we had with Mike's rehabilitation. Gym day number one. Time to get to it. Got a program here in the hack from the Hackman Clinic. And uh, okay. Pretty nice. Really good. How sore is it here? Like when you do that, that's like... Numb? Uh, no, it's not numb, but it's like... Distasteful. Yeah. Oh, great. You guys gonna get to some work here? I'm sweating. Oh, there it is. I want to like lean and cheat. <laughs> that's, that, I can feel I want to like... Okay. Drag leg up. Open. Up, up, up. And then back. And then down and in. Good. Think about just really moving through the hip. Yep. And then we want to rotate and open, open, open. I'll drive into my finger. Drive, 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 drive. I'm just gonna like semi like. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was. You know what? Like, it was so crazy. It was like how easy that used to be. Oh yeah.
Just finished at the Acumen Clinic, and it's snowing really hard. I'm gonna go for dinner. My leg is exhausted, but we'll I'm walk. extremely thankful. Yeah, we'll walk, walk. walk with my pack on. Nice. Right, bud, you have to stay with mommy, okay? Yeah, you know, you have to go with mommy, okay? Week 12, final appointment. Just finished up 12 week visit at the Acumen Clinic. I am pooped, we did jumping, sled drags, loaded the pack up, single legs, feeling great. So, probably another eight weeks before I'll be back, so it'll be a little longer, and uh, season three production starts in four weeks. So we're ready to go. Last hike before the mountain trip, got a couple of my boys with me and their kids. Putting on probably about 9K today. One week out from the goat hunt, so super, super excited. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the episode so far and following along in my off-season journey. Now, before we get to the goat hunt, I just wanted to say again a huge thank you to the Acumen Clinic in Edmonton. Uh, we had such a short time frame to get everything together we had a lot of milestones to achieve in such a short window of just 16 weeks before the spring season kicked off from the date of surgery and it was just an incredible experience to work with such a great team and you know just from dr shantz the surgeon to leanne and mike the part of the rehabilitation team they really pushed me uh, to meet those goals and i just couldn't be more grateful now without further ado Enjoy the rest of the episode. Today, myself and my buddy Jarrett here behind the camera, we're heading up on uh, the Tumblr Ridge area of BC for some mountain goat hunting. So really excited and just we've been planning this trip here for a while and we're just gonna hit the trail, do some scouting this evening after we set up camp and 
season opens on Monday, so we're hoping to have a plan of action by then. So yeah, let's get going. Pursue the Hunt is brought to you by Ducks Unlimited Canada, conserving Canada's wetlands since 1938. And Honda Fort St. John, your number one power sports supplier in the Peace Region. Killin' Sticks, premium carbon fiber arrows. And JD Knives and Custom Works. Yeah, we're just on a, a bit of a designated hiking trail up to the LEH area that we have the draw in. And, and it's nice they put in these boardwalks across some of the marshy spots and uh, put some bear lockers up at the lake for us and stuff too. So it's a bit more of a, an easier mountain trip, I'd say, minus the bugs right now. But yeah, it's kind of cool that they put this in, make the hike a little bit more family friendly too. So I'd say we're probably about 2K in, a few more clicks to go. Step navigation here. Whew. Almost to the top, Jarrett. Just about there. Almost there. All right, we're cresting the, cresting the little ridge here soon. It's been a nice little push, great trail. And uh, yeah, if you look at the view, behind me there it's pretty amazing so gonna be at camp soon set up camp and go see if we can find some goats Okay, well, we're just finished setting up camp. Got some sugary snacks. And, uh, yeah, it's quite the scene. So we're gonna head up to one of the ridges here, do some glassing for the rest of the afternoon, come back, have a late dinner. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah, packs are a lot lighter now. <laughs> Which is nice and tent set up in case it rains, so away we go. Bugs are going. Yeah, not complaining there. Okay, so we actually can't hunt this face. It's the lot, it's the height of land here. Right over the saddle. But if we can get over that saddle, that's gonna that's around the back. That's a long that saves us a long way around actually. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking let's go that way right now.
is a guy. All right, so missed a little bit of footage there. We actually got a pretty significant downpour on us. Had to throw the rain gear on because we were literally on the side of a mountain, but we managed to make it over the saddle. It's doable over the other side, which is great news. We don't have to go around this big mountain. We can kind of cut through. And uh, yeah, sun's peeking up there. It's gonna be a beautiful evening, but we are losing light, so we're gonna get back to camp and have some dinner. But great day, a lot of boot miles today, but it's gonna be a better day tomorrow. See him? 